Alright, what's up guys? My name is Coriola, and welcome to episode 7 of my Out of the Park Baseball 16 franchise with the Cincinnati Reds. And we are here at the first year player draft, and this year has been a lot of ups and downs. We are currently 8 games out of the division, 4 games under 500. We just were on a huge... We were awful through April. I think we were something like 8 and 16 May, we were really good. As you see, we had this big win streak here, and then a lot of wins through here. And then June, we've been on a losing streak since, with just one win in the month so far. And that's definitely because our pitching has been god-awful. Our bullpen is nearly is nowhere near as good as it was last year. Chapman has struggled, but I think his FIP is a bit lower, if I could check that. But it looks like... He he is walking a lot of people. So, well, I want to check his FIP. For those of you who don't know what FIP is, it is Fielding Independent Pitching, which is um, a better predictor of ERA than ERA, if that makes sense. Basically, it means um, it's a bet. It takes out of consideration. Um, balls in play and yeah it's his FIP is actually 365 which means that's what his ERA should be but he's still walking way too many people almost a batter an inning so our offense has been pretty good um Joey Votto not great but he's getting on base a lot Jesse Winker has been fantastic Travis Darno has been really good since we got him Jay Bruce has been bad, but everyone else has been pretty good. It's just our pitching. Look at the back three of our rotation. 5-6-6, six, 4-3-8. Six, I had to sign Kevia Sampson, who was actually in our organization, got released as a minor league free agent because um, someone got injured. Uh, Robbie Ross got injured right at the beginning of the season, and Moscott has been bad too. And... Sangrani's been bad, Parr's been bad, McKeerhan's been okay, and Fryas has been bad. So our bullpen has not been great this year. Let's get into the draft. And, okay, OTP17 has been released to some people. They're beta testing it right now. And it comes out officially on my birthday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> Really? It's tomorrow? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm a fucking <laughs> idiot. I did not know that my birthday was tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it comes out tomorrow. <laughs> God damn it. Um, wait, these are not pit. I don't even know. It's on all pitchers with their position players there. Not going to question that. Um, But yeah. I don't know that my own birthday is tomorrow. Shit. Okay, so anyone who watches this video, please leave your input in the comment section below about whether you think I should finish this series or just go straight into... 17. I think I like Jason Rooks. He was a guy I looked at earlier. Yeah, I think he will be our first round draft pick. Wait, no, 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 right here. All right. Draft and meet his demand. Next pick. Um, Cash case. Turns out really well. I'm drafting him just because I recognize the name. And, alright, let's start looking for these guys. I like Hildebrandt. Will he sign is the question. I'm going forward. Whoops. I apologize about how lagging my game is right now. Don't know what it is. I w really wish I did. Because then I'd fix it. Let's go with um, Hildebrandt. We'll meet his demand. Next. We have Noah Campbell, sure, why not? Meet his demand. Next pick. Once we get 
no one with more than two stars left, we will let our scout finish it. Come on. Elliot Cray. Or Carey. Ooh, Drew Mendoza. Just because I've had him in every OTP game so far that I've ever done, I'll draft him and meet his demand. And let's go to our next pick. I believe this is OSA. Let's go here. Let's just draft Prend Prendes. And we'll let our scout finish the rest. And I'm going to do this episode a bit differently. I'm actually going to cut out all the simulation. I'll be back if anything interesting happens. Um, I'm going to show you guys the um, amateur free agents. And I'll probably simulate some games with those. And then go to the trading deadline. Hopefully make a trade. And call it an episode. Because I need to restart my computer. Because it is laggy as hell. So be right back. Alright we are back here. At the beginning of international free agent, international amateur free agents, and we have signed all of our draftees except the two impossible ones. I do not wish to go after either of those. And all right, we brought Robbie Ross back. Uh, we sent down Moscott, who was having an awful season. The bullpen's done better. The rotation's done a bit better. Samson's been better, but Desclafani, uh, excuse me, and Lyles have been worse. And the lineups, which I actually haven't checked yet. Josh Harrison's doing really well. Votto's doing better. Winker somehow is doing better. Darno not as well. Bruce, worse. Maya Spreen, not great, but Perez, good. I'm happy with this. I'm very, very happy with this. And Jay Bruce, damn it, I kind of want to trade you. But first of all, we have the international amateur free agents. And I will. I have already looked over these. I will go after to start. Luis Castillo, and, um, well, I wanted to go after Luis Rodriguez, but actually, just kidding, I don't want to go after him. He has good potential ratings, but that's about it, so we'll go after uh, Juan Marquez instead. And then these three guys at the bottom here. Actually, just kidding, we won't go after Marquez, we'll just go after these other guys right here. We'll give him 400, 410. Then we'll give these two guys 130 and probably 125 for this guy. All right, and I think that'll be it for international amateur free agents. Unless we still have some extra money left over, we want to make a run at one of the top three guys. And what? Just a minute. I apologize for... I apologize for the interruption there. Um, Alright, let's start simulating. We are back up almost at 500. We were just above 500, but then... We've lost a couple games in this Met series. We win game three. And Cleveland game that got rained out earlier, we win, and that means we sweep that series. All right, and only G Gonzalez, everyone else, deciding to be a little bitch. All right, Juan Rosas, I'll give you 80, I guess. Castillo, I'll give you 10.90, and I'll give you 6.62. How much money does that mean we have left? About a million. Okay, cool. All right, we'll uh, go straight through the draft pick signing deadline as we are have a three-game series in Detroit. We take game one. We take game two. And we've signed everyone except for Castillo. That is pretty good. And we will up our offer again on him, although we'll go up quite a ways because... Uh, he is a pretty good guy, pretty there, yeah, pretty good player. And if we can just completely outbid everyone right away, that's probably optimal. I do want him. 
We lose game three. No compensation picks. That's fine. We are three and a half back right now. And yes, we will make a trade. I'm pretty sure we didn't do anything last year. And uh, did we? Okay, so we get Castillo. We have about 300k left. Let's look at OTP. I actually kind of like Juan Perez because he has solid pitches already. Um, yeah, I will certainly do that. All right, nice. I think we stood pat at the uh, trading deadline last year, but we will definitely make at least one, likely more moves. And I just remembered this now. I forgot to hire the bench coach back. Damn it. All right. Offering extension to Buckley. I like him. He's done a pretty good job so far. Pitching coach. Mm, not sure. And assistant GM. Not sure either. All right. Let's check out the review of midseason goals. Happy. Not happy. Not happy. Uh, you're an asshole. You wanted me to acquire an MVP player. All right, let's do it. Let's do a, a. Oh yeah, I remember adding this in my short list. Yeah, bit bit out of my uh, potential ability to trade. He's really really good. Anyway, player sir. What? That's not the regular player search function. I apologize for this. This is not what we were supposed to be doing right now. This is better. All right. Has one award. Most valuable player. Search. We could not acquire either of those, either of those guys. Search. We could acquire Adrian Gonzalez. But we don't need him. We could acquire... Jimmy Rollins. I mean, this is so unbelievable because we have Joey Votto. He won the MVP. Josh Hamilton's up back up to a five star, really? Hold on. Who? And we also get Rusniski. <laughs> Can't afford. Alright, how much is left on this guy's contract? Just one year. Alright. But I don't like him, so no. Whoops. This is MVP players. Ryan Braun? No. I w if one of these guys was an outfielder, besides Hamilton, McCutcheon? Yeah, there's no way they'd trade me McCutcheon. For Jay Bruce. <coughs> it's their cast for Jesse Winker and no one else. Yep. Never mind. Alright. Don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll figure out something. I remember in a different one, I think it was a Diamondbacks franchise, they asked me to acquire an, uh, um, a Cy Young pitcher and I got like. I don't remember. It was like Jake Peavy, I think. Yeah, I think it was Jake Peavy. And he was like a one star at the time. Damn it, Sean Marshall. Well, two weeks. I guess we can leave you in the rotation for now because we don't. Well, is it worth it to call up Furbush? Yeah, all right. We'll do that. Place on disabled list, 15 day. And place on active roster. Mitch Trees is going up. It's moving up in this world. Other news as far as prospects goes. Sebastian. Someone. Probably call him up to be honest. If Jay Bruce keeps struggling. I like I like Jay Bruce. And I think he can be a lot better than that. So hopefully he gets if he gets it up to 220 before the training deadline. I won't trade him. Um. All right. Do we? I think we still have Juan Perez pending. Yep. All right. Let's keep simulating. We'll go up to 
if he signs before the All Star teams are announced, we'll go or before the All Star break, we'll go up to that. I think okay, yeah, I'll reveal the All Star teams and then cut out and make it. I'm gonna make one trade here and one trade here. So yeah, that's how I plan on doing this. All right, four game series against St. Louis. We're on a three game losing streak. Be really nice to stop losing. So we'd be tied for first if we hadn't lost any of these games. Wow. Damn it. Ugh. Really? <laughs> Why? Alright, now I need to acquire a catcher and some people. Damn it. Damn it. I want to win this year so I can end the series with a clean conscience. Joey Votto and Jesse Winker are are, are our all-stars. So, yeah. I will put a poll, like a straw poll or something, down in the description. And I want you guys to know if you'd be okay with me ending the series early. I think we're going to make a playoff push. So, we'll definitely finish this calendar season. And, um... If you or if you want me to just get straight into OTP 17 tomorrow. So Yeah, all right. Winker and Vado, let's just show you who wins the All-Star game. That would be the No, I thought I simulated this game. Come on. The National League 5 to 1. All right, I'm going to cut out Look for a trade after showing you that Jay Bruce is now hitting 197. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So, for the second time in this series, we will trade away Chris Tillman and Manny Parra, along with had to give up a top prospect, and I decided on Caden. Um, damn it, they really like Grenier. I thought he was the one with crappy defensive rating. Maybe it was Trey Dawson. Yeah, I thought I wanted to give you up. Oh, shit. Well, this isn't working out as I had planned. Uh, ha, ha, ha. But in return, as you can probably see, we are trying to acquire... A man by the name of Zach Wheeler. You know what? Mm. How good is Lucas Williams? He can definitely get have better fielding than that. But just Fitzgerald and Dawson kept Grenay and Williams. Could we do this? Jet. Jet, jet, jet. Alright. A guy was looking to give up was uh, John Moss Scott. Okay. They have to think about this. Let's... Let's get, give him like a two and a half star starting pitcher who looks more like a reliever. If we even have one. He's injured, can't give him up. Connor Manaus, love him, can't give him up. So what about this weirdo? Nope. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, is there any other prospect that they really like? Clint. Fraser is injured. I would have loved to give him up. I just value defense too highly, and all of my prospects are injured. Mmm. Caden. Well, he's not going to be much of a hitter at all. And so, that means he has a better chance of being a bust. So, all right. We will offer them Chris Tillman, Manny Parra, and Grenier for Zach Wheeler. And now this is not guaranteed. They said they'll have to th <clears throat> think about this. 
but we can submit it and see what happens. We have not advanced any days at all. So, let's start simulating. Si uh, simulating. Damn it. Read. We could give Moss God right now, and it would be good. <sighs> Alright, let's look at Lorenzen versus Moscot. Moscot has really good pitches. So he has four good pitches. Lorenzen I like just a little bit more. I'm going to discuss this trade again and not give up either of them. Except we have no starting pitching prospects. Holy shit. What about this catcher? John Michael Boswell. How does that change Gerardo Soto's mind? Any day now. Hildebrandt. No. Alright. Lorenzen or Moscot? Lorenzen. I will give up John Moscot, who they said would work. So, we've submitted the offer. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You said... You huh. Add John Moscow, we have a deal. What? Oh, you're killing me. Ah. Really? Now they want Robbie Ross, and you know what? I'll do that. And then I'll call up Michael Lorenzen. Because Ross has been bad. Robbie Ross Jr. Have fun. In New York. Zach Wheeler, my friends, is now a Cincinnati Red. Welcome to the team, Zachary. And now we need a lefty starter. And if we just do a quick player search, find a player. Go two star both ways. Pitcher who's not been a free agent who throws left and is a starter. Danny Duffy. Do not mind acquiring Danny Duffy. Or James Paxton. Ooh. A couple of interesting names out here. Both top prospects who look like they haven't looked out, worked out amazingly in the Big leagues. Oh, please, could I do that? Although I like Skaggs, too. Whew. All right. Alex Torres is not a starting pitcher. I have no idea. It's Danny Holton, a lot of former top prospects. Tim Cooney. John Lamb. That's probably a buy low guy. Let's... Actually, also Jose Quintana, I was looking at him earlier, and I do like that. All right, if we could get both of them, what do they want? I'll... Ooh, okay, so they're not too... They're not immediately demanding only Jesse Winker. Let's see what they want for... Yeah, John Lamb. Make this work now. Now. Ow. All right. They really like John Lamb, apparently. Ah, I hate this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. What about Skaggs? Or Sean Gilmart? No. Ah, I liked John Lamb a lot.
Oh, no, 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 no. I am actually very interested in you. Um, alright, prospects, prospects, prospects. Grant Gilmore. Really? They really like John Lamb. Damn it. Because uh, I like, I really like John Lamb too. Adam Conley. A good young left-handed starter. Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, I, that probably is. But, um. <laughs> All right, Finnegan. If they don't just want Jesse Winker. God, I hate doing this. There's probably an easier way to do it, but I'm lazy. What about Alex Wood having a fantastic season? He's a really good pitcher in this. How about James Paxton? All right. Not impossible to get. So let's throw in Grant Gilmore. Very bad deal. No, 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 no. It's not. Maybe. Oh, yeah. OSA hates it. Let's go check out OSA ratings. That's why they hate. Well, uh, all right. Gee, knowing that what I do now. Damn it. Damn it. I hate this. Please be fixed in 17. Where it just automatically goes back and forth. All right. Jake Turnbull. They hate him. Um, Aristides Aquino, where was he? Where are you at, though? All right. All right, they like Aquino. No, no, you're not getting Zach Wheeler. Who's on the active roster? Jay Bruce. Okay. And Jordan Lyles, but I need him. What about... Damn it, there's no one else. Shit. Okay. Ah, damn it. I clicked that a lot, didn't I? Alright. Go to find a player. And... We're on OSA right now. I'm going to go back to John Lamb. And based on OSA ratings, we'll offer you Aristides Aquino. And that makes a bit of progress. Okay. Who now? Michael Lorenzen. Hmm. Problem is that's more of a reliever mold, yeah. Bye. I'm. I like Jake Lam John Lamb, but Jake Lamb is a different guy. But not right now. Ah, uh, all right. I'm going to cut out and try to do something. I've probably been in this for too long, so I will be back. All right, we are back. I couldn't get any of those lefties, but um, is Mitch Trees off the disabled list yet? Because he's having a good season, and I plan on calling him up. All right, we're going to go with one catcher for now. Our backup will start. Versus Chicago. So we win. Game two. This is in Chicago. We lose. Mitch Trees should be off the DL, so we lose. And one more day. Come on, stop losing. We win. I thought we were playing Chicago, but Sean Marshall is back. We'll add him. Um, minor leagues. We will add Mitch Trees, and we will add Michael Lorenzen, and we will set our. Starting pitching accordingly. Then. Uh, 
Okay, so this is our rotation. Desk of funny page game one, then Miles page game two. Okay, that works, that works, that works. And our lineups. Cabrera's actually had a pretty good season, so start him. Put him in the sixth slot and pray that Jay Bruce can turn it around because I like Jay Bruce and I want to keep him around. And what the hell is Ramon Cabrera doing in the lineup? I don't know what I just did. What the hell? First base. Did I click on Winker? I must have. All right. Then, ah, damn it. If, if only there was a way to change the lineups. If Instead of, like, copy lineup, it would just be, like, copy lineup without DH or with DH, whatever. All right, we'll do that and pray we start doing well. Let's keep simulating forward. So we playing Minnesota. We lose game two. We are six and a half games out. God damn it, this team. I just got you Zach Wheeler, and now you're losing. And Homer Bailey's back. Which possibly means we could trade Lyles. How's Michael Lorenzen done? Not, he hasn't played. Lyles has been all right, but I think there would be no point of trading for a guy like Duffy if we didn't have a spot in the rotation for him. So, welcome back, Homer Bailey. Everyone in the rotation has the ERA under four, and everyone in the entire rotation is the ERA under four, and we are still four games under 500. Game doubleheader against Washington. We are eight games back. We win both. And we're only seven and a half back now. Game two, we win. Or sorry, that's game three. And game four, the day before the deadline, we don't win. So we will go to the deadline two games under 500. And I am going to look to make some sort of of second move well I don't know what that move would be I'm gonna trade Carlos Montencrief be right back okay we are back and couldn't find a trade I liked for Montencrief so he's sticking around I guess but Jay Bruce has really struggled, but this is a team we are going to go with down the stretch. And so, with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please um, check out the straw poll in the description, and I really hope to be back with a pennant episode soon. We will finish this season regardless, and if we win the World Series, you know, doesn't matter. But... That being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. A goodbye.